We're going to start out with a high-res camera image and we're going to take a look at how to make sure we keep the highest quality when we embed this into a PDF and then share it with our hometown. So just to go over this, this is a camera, just a 12 megapixel image from an iPhone. We're not going to do anything with this in Photoshop. I just want to leave it as is. What we are going to do is switch over to InDesign where I've got a sample document here. And basically we've got a graphic frame and text frame and we've got a title. I've already got some wrapping set up. There's a little drop shadow and, and a border just so you can see what the frame size looks like before we do anything with the picture. So I'll zoom back out and then we'll do we'll turn my keycaps on. We'll do Command D and we want to place that picture and we'll get the import options. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to click and drop it so it's going to come in as its normal size. Okay, so you see it's it's really large. I do have my display settings on display performance on typical because otherwise this will slow down a good bit, but I'll switch it to high briefly so you can see that's the big full zoomed in version of that image. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just delete that so it doesn't clutter us up. But what I'll do for next is I will actually select graphics frame. Again, since I have this selected, I'll do the Control D shortcut for place again. Choose the same picture. And this time it's going to go directly into the graphic frame. OK, so now we've placed it. And now if you click, if you hover over, you see this little bullseye in the center. OK, we click on that and now there's a new bounding box. That's the bounding box of the full image. It's being scaled and cropped to fit into this graphics frame. So I back out a little bit, you can see. So let's say if we wanted to quote unquote zoom in, we can grab the corner, start zooming in. You hold shift down to make sure that the aspect ratio stays the same. Let that off. And now you can see We've scaled the image within the graphics frame, and we can now grab that, and we can move the image within the frame by holding on to the, uh, that same bullseye if we want to uh, reframe the, the waterfowl there. Okay, so we've got the full-size image. It's scaled, and it's cropped. So let's take a look at the export options now. We'll come to File export. We'll do press quality. That'll make sure it's not going to do any compression. We'll do this as a test. Okay. And I'm going to replace this because I've done this a couple of times. And what I'd like to show you is this option right here, crop data to frames. I'm going to uncheck that. The other thing you'll notice is color images. All of the images are, regardless of the actual pixel count, Anything that's under 300 dots per inch won't be won't be compressed at all. So basically, since the image that I brought in is uh, just a 72 DPI camera image, it's going to be left completely alone. So let's once again, we're leaving the crop image data to frames untoggled. So that's going to keep that image data. And let's see, I'll come back to general and we will view this right after importing so I can show you what it looks like. So, yeah, we've got some overset placeholder text that's going to export. Okay, and now when we click on this image, look at that. You're actually seeing the entire image. So when this is run through the OHT extraction process, this full image is what's going to be pulled. So if I select this and hit copy, we'll come back to Photoshop. I'm going to close this so you know it's gone. Let's get rid of that. And we'll hit new. Now I copied that image to the clipboard and as you can see, it's 4,000 by 3,000 pixels. So it's going to still be, once I paste it, it's still the 12 megapixel image, uncropped and unscaled. Okay. So how about if you do want to maintain the cropping and everything when it goes onto the website? So let's come back to InDesign. And in this case, we're going to export again. Still press quality. This time I'm going to use a different test cropped images here for the file name and replace that for the test. OK, and we're going to come back to compression. And in the press quality preset, this is cropped by default. But I wanted to show the difference. So now let's go ahead and export that. 
it'll remind us about the overset. Okay, now I have two files here. One is this big one. See, these are both look exactly the same, but when you click, the one with the cropped image data is this, and the one with the uncropped image data is this. Now let's take a look. Once again, when we copied this over to Photoshop, it was still 12 megapixels. It was 4,000 by 3,000 pixels. So now let's come over to this one that's been cropped. We'll copy that directly from the PDF, come back to Photoshop, and I get rid of this one, create a new file from the clipboard. Now look at the size difference. It's now 1589 by 1236. So all this is doing, it's not, you're not losing this, the, the, the size as much as you are. You're only losing the pixels that are cropped out. You're not losing the actual scale of the image. Otherwise, this would be like, you know, uh, 400 pixels or something wide here. So let's create that and we'll paste it in. And once again, now you can see this isn't a 12 megapixel image anymore, but you still have all the same pixels within the cropped area. So that's the most important part. If I had gone and cropped this down and then imported it, whatever image I cropped this to before bringing it into InDesign, that's all I'm going to get. With this method, you maintain every pixel that's in the original photo, and you have control over whether or not it's going to end up being cropped to the frame or not cropped to the frame when it's exported through our uh, OHT process and yielding these images onto the website itself. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks a lot.